Hey there, I'm Tara Lunsford and you're watching a review of Leo Reed's Divine and Conquer. What is up you beautiful people, my name is Tara Lunsford and welcome back to another magic trick review here on the channel. Now if you're new here in the Deathly, please consider subscribing and take a look around the channel at my past reviews. I'm glad you're here, I hope you are, and without any more waiting, let's get right into this video. First off, you need to know what actually is Divine and Conquer. Well, Divine and Conquer is one of the most direct demonstrations of mind reading and magic that you can do with a deck of playing cards. Two selections from the spread are merely thought of, yet the magician can name one and produce the other with perfect accuracy and zero sleight of hand. This is Divine and Conquer by Leo Reed. Here's what happens. A deck of cards is fairly spread between the performer's hands. Two spectators each think of different cards in the spread and no cards are removed from the deck. They only exist in the spectator's mind. The deck is placed on the table and then the magician divines the identity of the card from one of the spectator's thoughts. The other spectator is then invited to deal down through the deck looking for their card. It has completely vanished. The spectator can even count the cards. There are only 51 cards in the deck. Their card is truly gone. The magician then reveals the second thought of card has appeared in their pocket. Divine and Conquer is a monster trick that requires absolutely no sleight of hand and you'll receive a special deck of cards that does all the work for you along with an instructional video from Nick Lacapo that details how to perform this amazing effect. The cards can be different in subsequent performances so this effect is perfect for both close up and stage performers who need to wow audiences again and again. Astonish your crowd when you do more than just magic, rock their world when you divine and conquer by Leo Reed. What will you be receiving if you decide to purchase this? Well you'll be receiving a very detailed instructional video by Nick Lacapo teaching you everything you need to know about the custom deck of cards that you receive in about two hours. Now that you know what Divine and Conquer is and you know what you'll be receiving, let's talk about some more questions you may have such as how difficult is Divine and Conquer to perform. It is not the easiest trick in the world to do but it's not hard. It's just going to take a bit of practice and a little bit of memorization. Let's talk about the angles for Divine and Conquer. When you perform this, what are the angles going to be like? The angles for Divine and Conquer are non-existent. You could perform this surrounded if you really wanted to. It would be easier performing it with nobody behind you because you'd have less to worry about, but you can make this to where you can perform it surrounded if you would like to. Is Divine and Conquer examinable? No, not really. The deck is not examinable. It can't be held by your spectators, but it can be looked at, which is good if you'd like to just hold it up and let them see it. You can do that. Is there any DIY involved or anything you have to buy? No, there is nothing you need to buy or supply. The deck comes ready to go outside of the pack. What is the setup and reset like for Divine and Conquer? Well, there is an initial setup to make sure that your gimmick deck is in the right order, but after that, you can perform it whenever you like to, as long as you have the deck of cards on you. Are there any negatives about Divine and Conquer? One negative for you might be that the deck is not examinable due to the nature of it, but this is something that might not be an issue for you. So it's kind of up for you to decide, but I did want to let you know about it before you decided to purchase it. There is also a little bit of, if you know what I mean, that's a little bit of that involved. So if you're not a fan of that, then this might not be the effect for you. The good news is that Nick is gonna walk you through every bit of that process on the tutorial so that way you shouldn't be left with any questions about it. What are the pauses about Divine and Conquer? Well, Divine and Conquer is a very powerful routine that I like and it's not just a single card revelation. It's more than that. It's for more than one spectator, which I really like. And I also like the card is never like fully named, like obviously that's what makes a good reveal, but it, it isn't really, you know, there's not too much of that involved and when you name that card out loud for them they're like what and it's, it's just awesome so what should this retail as well currently divine and conquer will set you back about forty dollars and is that a fair price it definitely shouldn't be any more expensive than that there is an argument to be made that it should have been more like thirty five dollars but i don't think you're going to regret spending forty dollars on it because it is a powerful effect Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of this video, and if you feel that Divine and Conquer is for you, then a link to purchase it is in the description down below. Remember, I am here to bring you unbiased magic reviews to help you make more informed, better decisions on the magic you buy, and I hope that you found this video helpful for that decision. I'd like to thank Leo Reed and Penguin Magic for allowing me to have this product, so I can do this for you, a few beautiful people out there, and if you want to see performances and behind the scenes content of some of the tricks that I review here on the channel, then be sure to head on over to my Instagram, at Tyler Lunsford Magic. There you can follow me and you can you know you can see all that stuff that I just named so that'd be cool right I think you should follow me on there if you'd like to hopefully I'll see you in another review that I post on the channel sometime soon and remember be nice to people